So I've had a few um, questions coming through on uh, Instagram regarding kind of running issues that, that some of these um, Fiat's have and they sound from the descriptions these guys have been given as if they are air leaks so uh, choke off but high revving and things like that so I just thought I'd point out a couple of bits that you kind of want to look out for um, if you've got similar kind of running issues so that is uh, something that won't idle properly something that where the revs start rising inexplicably um, it's usually down to there being um, an air leak and there's a few ways that you can you can test this uh, with the carb on the car you can spray starter fluid um, effectively around the base around almost all of it and then when the revs drop back down again that tells you where your leak is whether it's at the base or whether it's at the um, the throttle plate uh, spindle or, or whatever it might happen to be but um, you can kind of also check these off the bench so I've got a 26 and a 28 there the reasons for this will become clear in a moment now there's a, another video about how these carbs actually um, actually work uh, but you've got your choke um, there which is a fuel enrichment device um, so that's fully off so it's not letting any fuel through and when it's fully choked that is um, over in that direction so obviously if it's bogging down if it's putting out a bit of black smoke at idle or it seems like it's struggling a little bit do make sure that your cable is actually allowing your choke to come fully off they can get stuck they're just Bowden cables and you, you end up with a choke that doesn't come fully off um, so have a little look out for that second thing to look out for um, if you're looking if you if you've got as I say this uh, high revving is check that the base of the carburetor is flat again there's a specific video I've got on how to fix that if it is but you can put it against a, a sheet of glass or perspex in this case you can just check that there are no gaps they do often get warped they're quite soft um, alloy and if they're over tightened here the base will, will bend down and give you air leaks through here. Uh, I've taken the throttle linkage off this one because this demonstrates particularly well that if you have play like that in your throttle spindle, you are going to be leaking a hell of a lot of air through there and you're going to get a lean run situation. Revs are going to go up. So you don't want a throttle spindle like that. That is going to need rebushing you want it to be solid there should be no um, play in there so that just moves normally so have a look out for that because that again is another source of air leaks and again you can see that on the car you can feel that on the car uh, but you can also spray a bit of carb cleaner around there to look at it now on this carb as a bad example this has actually got the um, idle mixture screw uh, the head is missing so I actually can't get that out so that casing is, is pretty much junk because I can't really drill that out and re-tap it because I'll never get anything to fit um, so on the 28 you can see there's a similar um, setup here now the default setting is to have this two screws or two screw turns out from seated um, to set the richness it gets richer the looser it, it is because it lets fuel past um, however they are tapered and do check that your taper is not broken um, because if it is broken it's going to be letting fuel past all the time and it is not going to actually do the goods in terms of having the correct mixture and that again is going to make your setting up your idle speed particularly difficult so I'll just nip that one in there now these carbs do sit on a bakelite plastic um, insulating block that goes between here and the head i don't have one on the bench here but um, just 
you're unsure what I'm talking about, it's that block there. Um, they're relatively cheap. Um, there is a 26 IMB version and a 28 IMB version. Um, the only difference really, I mean the design looks slightly different, but there's a, a 28 millimeter hole in the 28 one versus a 26 in the 26. Um, and these can also crack uh, and they can also get slightly warped. Bakelite's quite brittle, they tend to crack before they warp. But you can again check these for flushness um, in the same way you do the base of the carb. And that will tell you whether you've got an air leak either between the carb and the Bakelite or between the Bakelite and the head itself. And those are really the only places where you tend to get air leaks that cause bad running. So if you've got a situation like that, go back. If, if your choke is coming off properly, you've got fuel, you've got everything else, a lean running condition is most likely to be caused by an air leak. Usually it will be noticeable from start up. However, depending on where it is and exactly what's causing it, if it's something that is expanding slightly um, due to the, uh, the, the, the temperature, it's only going to show up when the engine gets warm. It could be something as simple as your uh, nuts on top of the carb there, holding the carb base down, are not nipped down quite enough. And again, with expansion, maybe the carb is just loosening ever so slightly from that Bakelite base plate. And again, you're letting air in there. So hopefully, um, if, you're, if you're one of those people that's been messaging me about running issues, and I haven't been able to respond in uh, in sort of a text message form. Have a little look at those bits on your car and fingers crossed you'll get relatively quickly uh, down to uh, what the issue is and you'll be able to fix it for not a lot of money.